Sephiroth was on like 518. I, I looked at the timer, that's why. It's I think it was 518, so it was like a little over 30 seconds. It seemed like 10. It seemed so fast. It was so, <laughs> it was so it, fast. The second stock was probably like 10 seconds. That's what I was talking about. Like, yeah, you the, like, the second stock was probably <laughs> 10 seconds, yeah. <laughs> the whole interaction from, from both stocks was like 30. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Joe Cool versus Kenta, losers round five. These is losers quarterfinals, so we're approaching losers semis. Yes, losers, uh, losers quarters is loser gets fifth, I believe. Yep. So Joe Cool versus Kent. Now, how well is Kent versed in the little Mac matchup? Uh, hopefully better than JG was. Yeah, JG didn't seem to. Well, JG got got caught in some particular situations. Like I don't know, but um, yeah, you got to avoid yeah, those. Yeah, this is true. I mean, anybody, <laughs> anybody gets hit by the like the down tilt, down tilt KO punch. Yeah, well. that's just something. Yeah, it's so easy to get caught by. I really uh, appreciate oh. the use of these up tilts that we're yeah, seeing. Yeah, I, I like I said, like, well, I suppose like little there Mac has a bad time landing, right? But Fox kind of does too sometimes because none of his aerials, like, if he tries to challenge your landing with an aerial, it's a, uh, it's typically not gonna outrange like a grounded smash attack. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Look at this damage. Yeah, like Joel Cool gets so much, so much off of one hit. It's crazy. Like more than most Max have seen. That was really good though. He he saw the roll he saw the roll read, jumped and then immediately ran yeah, up and smashed him. he knew he knew that the uh, he knew that it wouldn't confirm, so he figured Joe Cool would run behind him, uh, since that was the like you know just through like conditioning, that's the last direction you'd immediately expect Fox to go after a down air. Yeah. So. Dude, absolutely, but he's finding that down to the upy combo, almost killing at one hundred percent. This is a tough mountain for Dikenzo to climb. He really can't mess up, you know what I mean? He's got to play so safe. I mean, then yeah. there's the side B. Kenta's, uh, I think Kenta's getting a little impatient. Yeah. Yep. Like, he, um... Yep. You saw him, like... Joe Cool had about a 100% lead, and... He approached every yeah, time. <laughs> yeah, like, Kenta would, like, stand there, like, full hopping uh, on the edge of the stage, and then he just, like, ran in and dash attacked. Like, like, Joe Cool wasn't even that close to him, and he ran in and dash attacked because I feel like he's getting anxious, and, like, uh, at some point, like, he hit a dash attack, and then he went for a forward air to, like, try to get an edge guard, and Joe Cool just knew exactly what he was going to do, and he uh, beat it out with side B. So it's like, uh, I feel like even when you're behind, you, you have to play the Mac matchup with that utmost patience. Um, if, yeah, if anything, you just got to use Fox's uh, ability, his mobility overall, to try to bait something. Yeah. There's no need to go in like that. So, uh, game two here. RZB Kenta is going to try to take a game off Joe Cool and avoid elimination. Yep, this is uh, this is match point or set point for uh, Joe Cool. Oh, wow, and that was that close. But that 100%, might've, That might have killed on, like, Town and City. Now, the frustrating thing is that. That's it, though. That's so frustrating. That's That's got to yeah. get in his head. Um, you know, he can't okay. lose his composure. Okay. But there yeah, you go. Yeah, the, see, that's what I was talking about right there. What is Matt going to do in that situation? Air dodge and get still get caught by the up smash? Or he could, like, you know, he could threaten or, an aerial, yeah. which is just going to lose to the up smash. Right. <laughs> like, there's only so much Little Matt can do it's, in a situation yeah. like that. You don't have to sit there and uh, and shield and, like, wait to see if he threatens an aerial or goes for an air dodge or whatever. The, he's, like, very limited in terms of landing options. Yeah. And that's a big deal. That's Kenta a really seemed, big deal. Yeah, Kenta seemed very aware that the up smash was going to beat out any, any possible option Joe Cool could throw out. So, good on him, but he's building massive damage here. Um, as he's kind of been the MO of the whole set. He's gone off to big leads, but it's never over. But there's an up B off the up to off the up air. Yeah, up tilt, I mean. Kent is just missing uh, these confirms occasionally. And, uh, yeah, like right there, he's gotten. Uh, Joe Cool's reversed the situation on him like three times in a row now. Ooh, very unwise side B. Almost catches, but that might that's be not that's it. Not it. No. Nope. not yet. But he's KO punch. He does have KO punch at at this point. Uh, KO punch is. I don't think he can confirm into it or anything. So it's like. Not that big a deal to have it actually. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is risky. Uh -oh. Top platform. And this is this is what I was talking about with you know little Mac being hard to juggle, but he does find himself back on the ground. So now we find ourselves in the last hit situation. Yeah. Uh, very scary for both characters, but I think that's it. Joe Cool takes it over uh, Kenta. That's it. Just those. <laughs> Dude, the freaking scream after the yeah. no. <laughs> that was funny.
Yeah, this is unfortunate. Dude, just like echoes of like... <laughs> All the music was done. 